Okay, so we have some awesome news here for AMC. If you had been following AMC's um, short interest, uh, you know, many people out here are talking about the short interest of AMC, which is obviously a big factor to look at when it comes to short squeezes, right? So yesterday, the short interest was at 11%. Um, and then the short interest also was at 56.44 million shares that were shorted, right? Uh, if you remember, uh, you know, it's been a few days of vast amounts of shares being returned. Uh, currently, like, you know, 36. At this point, this is, this is outdated, by the way. I'll show you the new numbers. 37 million shares were returned. So what happened with that is that people started to think, well, a lot of shares have been returned, which means that probably a lot of those shares were shorted and the price is not even moving. The price is actually staying flat or going down. So a lot of people were discouraged by this because you would expect, you know, if they're returning a lot of shares, we should be seeing some sort of squeeze by now. So this was just some sort of manipulation at whatever technical point. Now I'm going to show you the correct numbers and what I mean by that. Now this is AMC's new numbers. We're at 12.7%. We went up from 56 to 64. You know, that's about 9 million more estimated. And uh, this is also estimated by the way, uh, short interest. And we have been, re we have returned about 39 million shares have been returned from you know this is seven days ago it was at 30, 138 million and now it's at 84.37 million uh this was um seven days ago and but now it's a you know estimated here so it's a little more but what's interesting is we saw this huge chunk of shares being returned but most of them were not shorted they were just shares that were being borrowed kept and not shorted and then they were dumped back in well i wouldn't say dump they were returned back and to make it seem like shares were being returned and the price was not being it wasn't moving as you would expect so that was just you know uh, i'm going to show you the tweet right here that uh ortex which is the website that i was just showing you to get this data for may 28th right the exchange is reporting a short interest of 102 million shares. This is a larger number than expected and indicates a higher anticipated short interest in AMC. Um, the unexpectedly high short interest implies that the shares returned in this period were atypically not shorted shares, but instead shares that were borrowed but not shorted. What this tells me is that they are playing games with me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're trying to borrow a lot of shares and then return them just to show that a lot of shares have been returned and the price hasn't even moved. The price didn't move because those shares were not shorted, uh, returned, and then, you know, they were not borrowed, shorted, and returned. They were just borrowed and then returned back. So nothing was done with them. And as if you can see right here, we were estimating 85 million in interest when in reality it was 102. So we were far off, very far off. So here, this is Ortex, combining the data. Combining the exchange release data, which is the official data, um, the latest daily security lending change, that is how many shares have been borrowed, how many ch shares have been returned. That is what this means. It's useful because exchange data, although delayed, is highly accurate. And our security lending data also gives a very accurate sentiment change. So if you combine the previous exchange release, which is the official data, with the latest daily percentage change, you can actually predict what the future, future exchange releases will be. This is sort of like Palantir, where they're um, predicting future movements and future data. So this is beautiful, right? I, I'm glad we have this. But we were off by a lot. Um, and that's because they were not expecting that swift change. That to me tells me there's something that happened that they were not expecting to happen because it wasn't normal. So see how those lines have been running closely together? That's because their estimation is based on history data and also based on the sentiment and based on so many different things which are here. Uh, based on the 
borrow shares per the day and based on those return shares. So they're expecting since, let's say, 10 shares have been borrowed today. Of those shares, based on data, they're expecting that probably six of them have been shorted. So four of them haven't. By this time, they were expecting the same thing to happen, but all of a sudden you had 10 shares being borrowed and only one being shorted. So they were obviously miscalculating uh, because they didn't know this was going to happen. So I feel like this is some sort of manipulation to the market just to, uh, and th this is without even talking about naked shorts. You know, this is just the official data and they're still manipul manipulating this with loopholes and stuff to make it seem like uh, their short squeeze is not imminent. But this just also tells me a lot of those short uh, sellers are still in the game. They're still, you know, they have been for the longest time now. And remember, they're paying interest on those shares that daily. So every day they keep those shares, they're paying for them. So this is what Adam tweeted, right? As of June 2nd, AMC had 500 million outstanding shares. AMC's number of shareholders in the US is about 4.1 million entities and people together. And you own, meaning us, the shares uh, retail traders, the apes, we own about 80% of AMC, which is really good uh, with an average of 120 shares per person. Now that is excellent. So at the moment, I feel like we're in control still. They're just trying to scare us out of our positions so they can win. This is politically, you know, like that's what they would do. Like they're losing. They have to do something, you know, either buy more puts and make it seem like, you know, with the put to call ratio, make it seem like we're actually in a downtrend or like this short squeeze is not bound to happen. But I want to show you what Weeble says about that. You see right here. We have been forming, and I showed it to you in this last video that I posted about uh, where I was comparing the GameStop squeeze that happened in January uh, next to the AMC, whatever we have going on right now, just to find similarities to see if we I could find any similar. And I think you're going to like what I found. So if, if you haven't watched that video, I invite you to do that. I posted it just so I can share this information with everyone else. I did it for myself because I wanted to see if I could find any similarities. And I did find a lot of similarities with the start of the squeeze of GameStop to the start of this, what we think it's going to be a squeeze for AMC. AMC. So right now we're forming this wedge. It, technically, this is called a bullish pennant where you start going up and then you form this little flag with lower highs and yeah, lower highs and then higher lows which forms this sort of wedge. And when you get to the end of the wedge, you have to decide either you go down or up. Most of the time it'll go up, but we'll just have to see. GameStop did the same thing and then it started wedging like this a little bit differently, different magnitude, but similarly, and then boom, another move up, right? GameStop did the same thing. So if you doubt AMC, go look at GameStop, look at their charge. I would be careful here, you know, I mean, if you have some shares right now and if you're scared, just zoom out and look at this. Come on, look. We went from $3 all the way up here and recently from 12 to all the way up here. So like AMC, look, AMC is holding up up there. Right now I'm hoping for us to go back up to 55. But as you can see right here, that wedge is forming in the four hour you know, they're playing all kinds of games with us. So at this moment, I would just wait and see what's going to happen. Because, And if you need some reaffirmation, if you need something to comfort yourself, I would go to the GameStop chart, like I said. Just go to the GameStop chart, look at it, and see that we have a lot of similarities with AMC. Or just watch my previous video, which I'm going to post at the end of this video. Um, okay, I will talk to you guys later.